Hey guys, welcome to the 166th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to have optional parameters. So all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button, and once you have it on your form, just go ahead and double click on it. Alright, so one way of having optional parameters is just overloading the method. So for example, if we had a method called show message right here, and we wanted there to be two parameters. One would just be the message for the message box, and then the other one would be a title for the message box. And then in here we'll just have a message box be shown, and we'll make the message inside of the message box would be the message that we pass through here, and then the title will just be the title that we pass through here. All right. Well, if we wanted to make it so that the user didn't have to provide a title, we could just overload this method. So we just copy it and paste it right here, delete this, and then delete this. So now when we call this method, we can choose from uh, which message, oops, show message. So now we can choose which one we want to do, if we want to provide a message or if we want to provide both a message and a title. But something else that we can do is create optional parameters. So in order to do that, you're just going to want to set this parameter equal to something. So we'll just set it equal to an empty string. This way it'll make it optional since it's defaultly set equal to something. So if you don't pass something through here, this will just be the default value. So if I just make this right here, default value. So if we don't pass something through here, title will represent default value and the title of the message box will say default value if we don't provide another one. So if we just do show message right here, pass through I'll say message, and then for the title, if I don't provide one, the title of the message box will just say default value. Yep, default value up there. But now if we were to provide um, a second parameter for it, like title, then it'll say title now. Yep. Now one thing you should know about default parameters, they must come after every other parameter. And this makes perfect sense because let's say we were to set this, make this be a default parameter and then this not be a default parameter, well then the C Sharp compiler wouldn't know what to do if you only pass through one string right here, let's say you just pass through Adam. It wouldn't know if you're trying to um, only represent this one and you're just skipping over this one or if you're trying to get to this one and you just haven't provided another one for this yet. So make sure that your default parameters, or I mean your optional parameters come after all your other ones. And you can have as many optional parameters as you want. So if you wanted to have another one called int amount, this would be like the amount of message boxes that will show. So then we could just say for int i equals zero, i is less than amount, then we show the message box that many times. And now this is optional right here. And as you can see, just passing through Adam is fine because these two parameters are optional Well, this one is not. So if we wanted to provide an amount, we'd have to provide a title as well. So if we do title, let's do title right here. Oops. And then an amount, if we did like two, then we should get two message boxes. One, two, yep. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial on setting up optional parameters. So see you guys.